What's going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji and today we are going to get into the Raiders first pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Henry Ruggs III. Alright you guys, let's just get right into the story of Henry Ruggs III. Ruggs went to high school in Alabama so it only made sense that he suits up for the Crimson Tide. He was a four-star prospect coming out of Alabama. Now, he had offers from a lot of the top football programs, including Florida State, Auburn, Florida, and Michigan. Now, Henry Ruggs didn't even fully commit to playing football until his junior year of high school, which is crazy to think how raw Henry Ruggs still is. Now, we all know how fast he is, but some of his football stats definitely pop out at you. He averaged over 15 yards per reception in each of his college years, which is really good. He also recorded touchdowns on 24 of his 98 receptions. That is an insane amount of scoring per touching the ball, and that is a record that will probably never be broken. Now, over the course of his career at Alabama, Ruggs has never had more than 46 catches or 744 yards, and that is a bit of a concern for a lot of people, but John Gruden being somewhat of an offensive wizard does believe he can get the most production out of Henry Ruggs. He sees a lot of Tyree Kill in Henry Ruggs, and he's mentioned it a number of times. Our offense needs that speed on its side of the ball to compete with the speed that Jerry Judy is going to bring for the Denver Broncos, the speed Tyree Kale and McCole Hardman bring for Kansas City. Put it like this, to win the AFC West, you're going to have to score points and Henry Ruggs brings that to the Raiders. One of the comparison I hear of Henry Ruggs is Tyree Kale. Now, I do believe they're a little bit different in the aspect that Tyree Kill is a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger than Henry Ruggs. And I would say that Ruggs is probably better today than Tyree Kill was when he came out of college. So if Henry Ruggs is able to develop in the same aspect that Tyree Kill was, I think Ruggs can be a very good NFL player. Now, before getting into the film, I do want to clarify something for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this video in which I had Henry Ruggs ranked as the seventh wide receiver. Now, if you guys are asking me, do I think Henry Ruggs is still the seventh best wide receiver? I think, yes, he is still the seventh best wide receiver. Now, does that mean he's not a first round pick or will he be a bad player in the NFL? Of course, it does not mean that. If you look at the list, six of the seven wide receivers went in the first round, and the only one that didn't, T. Higgins, was the first pick in the second round. So think about that. The first 33 picks, all seven of these wide receivers were chosen. Now, I still think when we look back at this draft in four years, C.D. Lamb will be the receiver that has the most success. However, Henry Ruggs can still, in his own right, have a lot of success in the NFL. And in this video, I want to discuss that with you guys. So let's just get right into it. Easily the biggest thing Henry Ruggs brings to the Raiders is speed. Speed and the ability to score quickly on any given play like he did a number of times for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now if you watch my videos, you know that I don't believe speed is the only thing that a receiver needs. You have to get in and out of your breaks, you have to adjust your routes mid-route depending on what the defense is doing. There's so much that goes into being a wide receiver. One thing you can't teach is speed and because Ruggs already has that he can work on the other parts of his game but to prove to you guys how fast this kid is check this play out Tua's gonna throw an interception and you're going to see where Henry Ruggs is on the screen now Henry Ruggs is gonna jog through the cluster and eventually hit that next gear and he gets to the defensive guy that intercepts this ball so quickly this right here shows you that straight line speed and you can see it from the backside angle as well the ability for Ruggs to go from 0 to 100 in a split second is very impressive. Speed, you absolutely cannot teach it. Now when a player has speed, one of the things you love to do is take that speed and take it deep. And of course, Ruggs went deep a number of times last year and oftentimes that kind of opened things up for players to catch the ball underneath. In fact, there were so many times where Ruggs went deep and he just outbeat the coverage and the quarterback just did not get him the ball, as you see on the screen right here. If Ruggs is able to beat players deep and Derek does not get him the ball, I will be super disappointed. Now, another big part of what Henry Ruggs is going to bring to the Raiders is his ability to do jet sweeps and go into motion pre-snap and get the ball sometimes even be used as a decoy the defenses will 100 commit to him it could confuse them you have to commit to him either with the linebacker a safety or sometimes both and that could really open things up for all your other players josh jacobs lynn bowden hunter renfro all these players are going to benefit so much 
just based off the speed alone of Henry Ruggs III. And of course, it doesn't really hurt when the guy can make plays, right? When you can give him the ball in these jet sweeps and he can actually break people's tackles, he can go around blocks, through blocks, it's always nice to have. Now, using Ruggs as a decoy in the jet sweep game is cool, but there's other ways to use him and Alabama definitely did it. Here's a play where you're gonna have Ruggs do an inside route and it's gonna have the safety just enough look at Ruggs. You get the tight ends to do routes to the left as well and you're gonna get a running back wide open because the safety has his eyes on Ruggs. He knows that Ruggs can easily take him over the top. Here's another example. This is the same play I showed you guys earlier where Ruggs is beating guys deep, but you can see that having Ruggs go deep, he's gonna attract three defenders, and then you have your best wide receiver who's able to run route, just come right underneath it because he's gonna open things up. Moving on, another thing that I like about Ruggs is his routes are not great yet, but he's able to just run through them and separate based off his speed alone. His speed allows him to do so many different things. Here's another example against Tennessee. You're gonna see that this is not the cleanest route, but because he's so fast, he's easily able to separate himself from the closest guy. And these are the things that I wanna see Ruggs kind of improve on throughout the season. I want him to develop some cleaner, crisper routes because a lot of his routes, he's just kind of running through the defense. A couple other things I really like when it comes to Henry Ruggs, he puts his body out there for him to help his teammates score. We know that a lot of wide receivers will not throw themselves out there, but for being 5'10 and super skinny compared to most wide receivers, he isn't scared of contact. And of course, he's super aware and I really like that aspect of his game. There's a lot that he brings and there's a lot that he needs to improve on. One of those improvements that I need to see from Ruggs is his ability to find the ball and not stop running mid route. Because a lot of the time when he is running deep and the quarterback takes that shot, he ends up turning around and kind of slowing down just a little bit. Him slowing down just a little bit does two things. First, it allows the defensive guys to catch up to him. Second, if the quarterback's putting the ball in a certain spot, he will not be able to get there because he slowed down just a little bit. Now, if you guys missed it, I'm gonna back it up for you guys. You guys see that he slows down, he stumbles, and it allows the corner and safety to kind of get over the top and eventually get in his way and he's not able to make the catch. Another thing that I see in him sometimes is he doesn't get off the ball quick enough if there's a guy lined up over him. Sometimes he does too many moves trying to shift left to right, right to left. And sometimes it slows him down getting out of his break. And I think that's another thing he can improve on, which I think he will once he gets to the NFL. Now, the one thing no one can improve on is speed. And as you see again right here, his speed's on display. Now, the next part of his game that he can improve on is his route running. As you're gonna see on this play, he's gonna give a fake to the inside and then go back to the outside. The quarterback's gonna throw it up and the corner is just all over it. Ruggs had no chance. The issue I have with this is the fake to the inside is a very bad fake, right? You're gonna have to improve your route running if you wanna get open in the NFL. The good thing is all of these things could be improved. He just has to work at it in his game. Now there's one last thing that I wanna talk about and that's the injury risk that he could potentially have. Because when I watched his tape at Alabama, I saw a number of times where he would take a hard hit either on a screen, a jet sweep, and he would come out for two, three, or four drives at a time. And Alabama's going to run a quick out to Henry Ruggs, who was in the slot. Now you're gonna see that Ruggs is gonna take a hit, and it doesn't seem like it's a hard hit or anything at all. Yeah, Ruggs gets up, he walks off, everything's good. But when I started looking at the next couple of drives, he was literally nowhere on the field to be found. I mean, here's the very next drive. And as you can see the play being run, he's nowhere on the field. Then I went to the second drive afterwards. And again, he's still nowhere to be found. I even tried zooming into the sideline to see if I can see him standing there next to the coaches and I couldn't. I had absolutely no luck. Fast forward to the third drive, and he's still not in the game. So they ran three full drives without Henry Ruggs in the game. So I don't know if that hit knocked him out or what had happened. But going into the fourth drive, I finally was able to find him. And what do you know, Alabama takes a deep shot. But I don't think it takes three drives to catch your breath to be able to come in and take that deep shot. If I had to guess, maybe he had a stinger or something happened. Maybe, you know, he had to get a concussion test. I don't know exactly what happened. Now, in this game, later on, he did get knocked out of the game with a concussion and he did not return. But that happened in the third quarter. And, and this hit here happened in the first quarter. So obviously it was not the same play. I don't know if 
that hit right there led to that concussion in which he was knocked out of the game regardless he did end up coming back in as you guys saw on that deep shot now to wrap things up and just give you guys my final thoughts and opinions i do like this rugs pick i was not very happy when it was initially made especially with cd lamb and jerry judy on the board but i definitely understand it from john gruden's perspective we signed Nelson Aguilar, we have Hunter Renfro, Tyra Williams, we pick Lynn Bowden, Brian Edwards, so we have a lot of good playmakers. And the one thing none of those guys have, maybe a little bit in Lynn Bowden, is the speed to take the top off of a defense. None of those players have that, but Henry Ruggs does, right? So when you take a player like Ruggs at the 12th pick, it makes a whole lot of sense, especially if you didn't think he would last until the 19th pick. As you guys know, the Niners were really interested in Henry Ruggs and the Raiders came and swooped him up. So I understand why you would take him with the 12. If Ruggs can just fix a few things in his game, I think he can be a very solid player and a very solid contributor. He can pretty much be a deep threat to this Raiders team. And of course, you know, one of the knocks on Derek Carr is he doesn't take deep shots, but you can also say he doesn't have great wide receivers to go deep, but this should pretty much open things up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, how you guys feel about this pick team in general. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.